Trey get out of the way, I want to do a spin me right round intro. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like the Multiplier Studio. Hello, my name is Multiplier and welcome to another video, a video where I explain something about my studio that for whatever reason I've overlooked in all the other hundreds of videos I've done in the past. And hopefully you can hear me because I'm standing quite a long way from the microphone, but I figured I can hopefully just use this microphone and talk a little bit louder. And then the, the noise will translate from my, my human head into this microphone, even though there's a uh, more than an, an arm's length away, but that's okay. Anyway, focus back, back on topic multiplier. This video is all about monitors, but not the monitors you're thinking of, not these monitors, the, the speakers behind the, the microphone, but the computer monitor in the middle. Why do I use this one? Because it's, it's actually a slightly strange choice until I've explained it. So this is a Dell 1080p, it was a Dell Ultra Sharp monitor. Uh, the actual model number is not important. It's, but basically it's a 1080p monitor. That's the resolution. So it's 1080p. There's a reason for this. And I also have another one of exactly the same monitor over there. So you're probably confused. You're probably wondering, well, one of two things. You're probably wondering either, why do I have such a small monitor? Because let's be honest, nowadays 1080p is like so totally five years ago. Um, isn't it all about 4K and 5K and even more right now? And, and that all like retina, retina quality, retina quality. You're probably wondering, well, you are correct. This is a very old school monitor in the grand scheme of pixels and resolutions. Um, that, that's probably your first wondering, why is Multiplier still at 1080p and not 4K? Especially since he's only got one monitor. I could, I could, I, I know what you're thinking. One monitor's cool, providing it's a big one. 1080p is just, just not a big monitor. So your next, your next thought is, hmm, why is there a second monitor over there? Well, I do use that monitor every now and then when I'm doing videos about products and I film the products over here and then it's, it's just, just easier to have a, a screen permanently mounted over there instead of running cables around the room. But that doesn't even completely answer the question because you're probably then wondering, well, why don't you have something like two monitors? Why not two 1080p's side by side? I mean, you've literally got two of the same monitor. Why not do them vertical? Like have one monitor above the other or maybe one main one and then one quite a bit off to the side. There's, there are lots of options here. I can answer them right now. Let me give you the reason. The reason is, well, it's a quite a simple one. I deliver videos currently anyway at 1080p. Let's do some sort of focusing and oh, that went weird. Oh, ah, focusing not important. Let's focus on the push. Ooh. That beautiful. Anyway, focus properly. Focus on the video multiplier. So I deliver videos at 1080p. That's the resolution that I deliver videos. Most people deliver that resolution to a few people on YouTube, not really in the music space specifically, but a few people on YouTube deliver at 4K. But that makes your life exponentially more difficult when it comes to recording, editing, and post processing, and just all round working with files. So I hope I can continue to make videos at 1080p for a long time, because that'll save me many, 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 many thousands of pounds on additional gear to, to work at a 4K resolution. But anyway, what my point is I deliver videos at 1080p. And because I spend two thirds or say half of all my time making videos, the fact that I can record these videos at 1080p at the resolution I'm delivering the video at, that makes my life a million times easier because I can simply make it full screen and record the whole screen and then pixel for pixel, it comes out perfect. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Zooming out so that they, they have it. That is basically the reason. That's the reason I use this pretty old school monitor. I suppose you could argue incorrectly and correctly all at the same time that having one monitor allows you to focus more. If you have two monitors, how much do you really look at both monitors at the same time? Is it a bit distracting in fact? I don't necessarily know. I think in some situations it is distracting having two monitors. In other situations, it can actually be useful. So that's situational dependent. Um, but yes, certainly, I suppose you could even argue the same thing about a bigger monitor. Is it really more useful to have, well, I suppose, four times as much space on the screen? Remember, if it's twice as long and twice as tall, it's four times as much space. Is that really as useful? Or is that simply more information for your brain to try and process and understand? I mean, I never feel, I mean, it's, it's, it's may surprise you, but I never feel held back by just having one monitor. I mean, instinctively, the tech nerd in me wants to have lots of information and lots of monitors, but then the, the focus part of me wants to, to focus. And then 
in reality, I, I, I'm getting on absolutely fine. One could argue it allows me to focus on the content more than distractions in the process itself. Ooh, doing a spin, doing a spin, doing a spin. I have no idea why. I just like doing a spin because I've got the camera mounted on the tripod. If I can go oh, spin, all panning, panning, panning. That's what it's called, isn't it? Something like that. Anyway, there we have it. More knowledge. And hopefully it's something for you to think about yourself. Have you not, have you thought about the monitors you're using? Have you maybe taken it for granted your current monitor setup? Do you maybe have too much information? Do you maybe not have enough information? Do you, well, have a think about it. Note, if you use something like Ableton, you could actually have say session view, the mixer view on one screen and arrangement view on the other. You can totally do that. Let me show you. Go to view second window. I will do a screenshot. View second window, and that um, I think in one of the in the doors we have revealed that to somebody. Um, but yes, you can you can have the two different Ableton's uh, or the two different Ableton views: session view and arrangement view, one on each monitor. That's what I used to do in the old studio before I got more focused. As I say, I genuinely don't feel held back by this. Oh, additional bit of useful knowledge actually: the bigger your screen and the more screens you have the harder your computer has to work. So I remember two studios or so ago, quite a while ago, I tried having three screens coming out of my laptop. And while yes, technically I could have three screens coming out, I mean, technically wired up okay, it basically made my computer work far too hard. Like so much so I had, well, I had three screens, this one you're looking at, the one over here and my MacBook open. So three screens. The MacBook one being extremely high resolution. So the MacBook basically, without even doing any processing, uh, was spinning the fans up just to keep it cool. In other words, to power all those screens and to do all the graphics processing for three different screens, it was working so hard that it couldn't even idle at the lowest fan temperature, let alone production stuff. So that is one thing to consider actually, just because you can plug in additional screens doesn't necessarily mean you should, especially if you're running into CPU problems and things of that nature. If you don't need those extra pixels, don't make your computer generate them. Eww, zoom, 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 zoom. I've been multiplier, catch you guys on the flippity flip. This video is sponsored by me, my website. As you can see here, I have a whole range of things available from serum presets through to serum tools, samples, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Do check it out, link below, multiplymusic.com and or subscribe. Thanks for watching.